What up, YouTube? You can't stop trading and investing with your boy, James E. Um, today, 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 I got to talk about a few stocks. Did some overnight plays. If you watch my video from yesterday, you'll know what I'm talking about. One was just horribly destroyed. Um, why did I making some, uh, uh, a little bit of money back on that loss? Um, had another overnight play, um, some dip buy opportunities, some first green days, a bunch of little bit of everything today. Um, I want to get into all that, but before I do, man, please click that like button. Please subscribe. It is very much appreciated. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy that likes to research and analyze anything I find interesting in the stock market, and I like to share that with anybody willing to listen. So, that being said, let's get right into it. Um, so I want to start with this bottom one, ILUS, um, made some money off the overnight from the previous day. If you haven't watched my video, please go and do so. Um, bought it here at the close, sold it in the open for a nice profit. Um, you know, nothing too big. My size wasn't too big. Um, and then when I seen this huge red day come in today, let's go to the daily or I'm sorry, yesterday. So we had this huge red candle on a huge spike in volume. So I thought we'd probably have a good chance of getting another bounce. Um, and it really just didn't do it. It kind of opened break even just slightly above the close. Um, you know, it, it closed right here at um, um, uh, 10 6. And then it opened pretty much at 10 6 and just had a small spike before it dropped. Um, so I sold it immediately, pretty much for a break even, made 150 profit, as you see right here. Um, so, you know, that that's really not that bad. Um, if it doesn't work, just sell it, regardless if you're red or green. Get rid of it. It wasn't doing what I wanted to. I really wanted to gap up. Um, on the bid and ask, um, when we're seeing on the ask, um, before the market opened, it did say 11.99. So I was anticipating it spiking up and maybe get a $1,500 profit. Um, but the, the bid didn't jump. The bid was still at the opening or the closing price at 10.6. Um, and it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. And then I started noticing the ass start falling off, the ass price start falling off before the market opened. So I knew that's a sign of weakness. Um, so I had to sell it and just took $150 profit. Um, and, and that's cool with me. Um, and then uh, my other overnight play was TSNP. Uh, if you guys watched my previous video, this was my stupid fuck it play where I didn't go in it with no plan other than, ah, fuck it. I'm just going to buy it. It should hold above four because it's been holding this. Watch my last video. I talk about it. Um, so, you know, stupid play I bought. It. And then it just dropped off, put me down like a little over $1,600. Um, and so I sold it this morning. Did have a small gap up. Um, got me $90 back here. Um, and then in this other one, um, made me 133. So total, I made $223 back on that specific play. Um, so, you know, and, and I like to keep track of my P&Ls by the day. So regardless of if it's an open position, especially in the OTC, since there's no aftermarket or pre-market trading, um, once the day closes, that's how much I made for that day. And then I, t even if it's an overnight play, whether I'm down or I'm up, I usually count that as, uh, you know, red for that day, not red on a position or green for that day and not green on the position. Um, that's typically how I try to. I've been kind of meshing them together, but I'm doing a video at the end of the day. The market's closed. Um, so yeah, so made about 223 back on that play um, on TSMP. So, you know, already started off my morning about $370 profit. Um, and then I had a beautiful dip by trade. Um, I want to say here. Yep, here. As you can see, ABB, um, this one too had a nice um, a nice drop off here. And then it, it gapped down. Um, so when it gapped down and we had this nice drop, um, if you guys watch my previous videos, I kind of been struggling on dip buys lately. But again, I make those videos to learn from myself. I rewatch my videos to learn. It's collected data um, for me to see where did I go wrong. So I've noticed through my data, through my videos, that I've always jumped the gun. The first time I see green, I buy. And then it winds up tanking and then goes and curls. So I almost hit the buy. I had 30,000 shares right here ready to hit this buy button. But I told myself, oh, James, you, you've watched your data. You've researched yourself over and over. Every time you do it on the first green, it winds up dropping. Um, so I got a little more patient and it winded up dropping just like it happens to me all the time. 
And then when this candle came in second candle, then I was like, okay, this looks solidified. I started seeing heavy size on the bid on the on the time and um, I'm sorry on the level two. Um, started and then started seeing um, big big prints going off all green on the time and sales. Um, and then so I bought. I tried to execute on thirty thousand shares. Um, only gave me twenty thousand, so I canceled the other ten because it just kept running. Um, and I was able to collect me two hundred and fourteen dollars profit. Um, bright and early in the morning on a beautiful dip by opportunity, which very small position size. So it's roughly around 5% profit, which for a dip by, that's great for me. I'll take a 5% profit on a dip by any day of the week. That's awesome. Um, so it's, so then I made my money this morning, um, up, uh, up nearly, um, what was I up? I believe, um, I made uh, 150, 150 on uh, ILUS. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I talk about that one? Okay, so we talked about um, yeah, yeah. ILUS. I made 150 um, um, uh, between TSMPD. I made uh, 220, 223. Um, so that was already uh, 373, and then made 214. So um, just, you know, about a little under somewhere around $580 to start my day and then learn from my lesson yesterday. I shut my lab, walked away, didn't want to see anything else going on after this point. This now, mind you, this is 640, 10 minutes into the market. Didn't want to see nothing else. Closed my lab. Didn't even open my lab till around 12 o'clock, which is what I should be doing because that's what fits my strategy. Okay, now if you notice, you'll see PL on the open 520, open position 288. So, ABBB, beautifully beautiful squeeze throughout the day, beautiful intraday climb. Um, so, I started getting back in the market right around here, 11 50, 12 o'clock. Started noticing this beautiful squeeze. I was like, oh, this is going to be a runner. And first green day, if you guys watch my previous videos, I talk about first green day all the time. I love first green day. They're always beautiful opportunities. When you see a huge run like this, all this red, and have the first bounce of a green, we typically get a gap up or some kind of squeeze the next day. And uh, so I definitely wanted to be a buyer. Um, so after I seen this, seen this drop um, around... And I, uh, you know, I usually wait for the last five minutes, which I did. I kind of jumped the gun by one minute. It was about 12.54 when I started loading up on shares because I noticed the bid and ask. The bid size was heavier in size right here on the number of shares than it was on the ask. And I noticed the prints kept popping up, kept popping up, kept uh, having an uptick, uptick, uptick. So look, boom. So I bought 28,000 shares here. Um, made another $288 before the close in this account. Um, right here, bought 24,000 shares um, at an average price of 30 and a half cents. Made another 324 right there in that account. Um, bought 75,000 shares in this account at a little under 31 cents a share. Made $685 there. So overall, made roughly right at the market close within the last five minutes, made roughly $1,300 holding it into overnight for tomorrow, um, anticipating some sort of gap up, but starting off this position with $1,300, closing off my day with $1,300. Um, that leaves me with just a little under $1,900 profit for the day. Um, again, sticking to what I'm used to, sticking to what I capitalize on instead of trying to trade all this bullshit like I did yesterday, learned my lesson from yesterday, stuck to the plan today, and it worked out beautifully. Um, and that's the key, man. You know, learn from yourself, um, understand your process, and, and and do the best you can to perfect your process. And, uh, you know, and the crazy part is if I didn't, you know, fuck up and, and throw all my rule book out the window yesterday, I would be profitable for the week right now. Remember, I don't know if you haven't watched my previous videos. I started off this week down 1400 on Monday and then down thirty uh, about 3700 on Tuesday, so I was down roughly a little over five grand to start this week. Um, if I would have just stuck to my plan yesterday, I would have been down fifteen hundred this morning and closed out the day eighteen. I'd have been profitable three hundred dollars on the week for it so far. Um, but unfortunately, didn't stick to the rules yesterday. Um, but I'm I'm dwindling back, man. So you know, now on the week, um, you know, I'm down probably around twenty five hundred on the week, something like that. 
um, which isn't bad. And just depending on what happens tomorrow, we'll see where we finish off this week. Um, but again, if I'd have just stuck to the rules, I would be profitable right now. Um, but but learning from that, understanding that, stuck to it today. Um, so that's going to be the lesson for today, guys. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of my analysis. Again, if you made it this far, please click that like button. Please subscribe. You can't stop mafia. It's a mindset movement, meaning never stop yourself, never stop your progress, never stop your education, especially in finance. Having multiple streams of income is an amazing thing, and the stock market is a place where you can do that. So ILUS kind of failed overnight play, but still made 150 TSMPD, lucky to get $223 back on the loss I had yesterday. Um, and then uh, a beautiful dip buy on AABB. This morning, a morning panic, was able to capitalize 200, a little over 200 on it. And then noticing the squeeze and first green day on AABB to close out my day and close it out with a little over $1,300 profit to finish off my day a little under $1,900. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Stick to the plan, stick to your process, and things will work out in the long run. Um, so that's going to be it for today, guys. I'll be sure to keep you updated as much as possible. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.